Hi everyone, this is Kayla Cava from cleverpacks.co.uk and this is my second day of our five days um, lifting up my project. So this is Light Up. I bought something really that reminds me of my childhood and some, some stuff that is kind of coming back in a way. I love 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 boxes uh, music boxes and I I was walking around shopping a couple of weeks ago and I found this little box at um, Tiger but since then I found on Amazon as well because that is the easiest way there's lots of people that don't have particular um, shops around them so and, and I, we are in the UK and I use the Amazon as my reference to most things Funny enough, uh, Tiger, I paid two pounds for this little box. Uh, Amazon is a bit more dear, perhaps because of, of posting. And I've already added something to it. This one is Jingle Bell. There is some satisfaction on how mechanic this is. You actually pulling a lever and actually rolling something i got this one as well because they have i think three different muse songs in there this is jingle bell they have silent night and this is my favorite as, as a fun factor which is santa claus is coming to town i'm making a box and I've chose to make it in black. And for previous experience, I decided not to actually score a mark in black. So I'm going to show you how to get to this point. We're using the craft paper. And what I did, I used the Star of Light stamp set. And I used this main star. This uh, little one here. And this trio here yeah and what i did i stump we're using versa mark and gold embossing powder and i just prepare all together so but i wanted to show you how did i got to this point so let's just start uh with our measurements as if you notice i've used i've cut a window here because i want you guys to be able to see to see our music box in action yeah so and the lights of course that we add into it so let's put all out of our way and bring our scoreboard i'll show you guys later the other points this is here so with our scoreboard i'm gonna need to open this part as well and our uh, stock is five and three eighths by 12 inches, which is 14.2 centimeters by 30 and a half. And we're gonna start by scoring on the long side of it. And it's a bit of a challenge because you will see the reasoning behind, but it is, we have seven different measurements. So what I'm gonna do, the first one is half an inch. And I always use the right side of the board because it's, it gives you the stability. So it's not going to be wonky when you're actually scoring. Um, if you try the other side, you will understand what I mean. So half an inch. Then I'm going to turn the paper around. And, and I'm going to go to two and three quarters. And score. Four and one eight. And score six and three eighths which is right in the middle of this area here is a bit a bit more tricky to go so we go all the way close to the edge and use and now seven and three quarters goes here and then we're gonna go to ten and one eight all right here sliding really well today on my 
my big one. Never mind. And now we're going to turn around and come to score one and three eighths. Make sure it's straight against the edge, the top edge, and then four. I would like for you to do something else now, which is two middle scores. So we're going to score from the first all the way to the second uh, score line. But considering that what you have on the top is the half an inch mark, so the smallest rectangle in your, in your scoring. So just going to slide to half an inch out of it and score to the second mark here. And I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm gonna use the right half an inch, put it on, because now I can touch both sides, even though it's just for a little bit, and actually score to the second line. It will help you to create the flap that we're gonna need to close the sides. So let me just put this away, I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to fold and all the score lines and use your bone folder to do this the only reason why I'm doing this is easier to see in this paper than it is to see on the black paper but we were gonna move on to that one very soon I just want to show you where to to go with this and why is that we did it exactly in that matter Okay, this is actually the top uh, inside of our box. So our box work will work like this. So this is where we're gonna house our music box. And this is the top. What I wanted to do is to actually close the box like this. So uh, we actually have a little pocket inside of this box. So it's making the best use of the paper that we can. So now I'm gonna grab a couple of pairs of scissors. So I'm gonna get a large one just to do the large cuts. And I'm gonna actually mark here what I wanted to remove from, from this. I want to remove the first small square near the small flap, just thinking there, and this one. And this is the line that we scored that we're gonna save, but there is a piece here that needs to go. Same on the other side, exactly the same, doesn't change. Now, we're gonna keep this th these things because it's gonna be the base of our box. And this is the flap that closes. So we don't need the both sides of this. So this goes away. This is what we remove from. Okay, so that's that is the what you have. I will put this image back in, in our uh, blog so you can have the details. So let me show you now where do we get from removing this. This is what we have at the end. Yeah, on the, on the, on the um, square ones you wedge in so it just makes a nice way to build the box and this area, I've used our oval layering uh, frame lid dies to actually cut the aperture. I use the smaller one for the aperture. And then afterwards, I create a little frame that we'll, we will add to it by creating first, you cut first from this piece of paper, which is two and a half by two inches uh, of uh, gold foil. I first of all cut this small aperture and I use washi tape to actually secure in place. So once you have that, was the first cut that we did, I came with the second one. So I, it had to go twice to it because I want very thin uh, frame to go around the box and I didn't want it to be too, too much. So these two frames are too close to actually cut in one cut. But I made a, an extra use, and you know now, uh, I will show you how. 
I use the sentiment, the middle part of it, so the first cut that we have, to be the base of our sentiment. And I'm gonna show you how to stamp this very soon. Let me just leave it all here and that. So we need all the parts that we need are here. Continue on your light um, theme. I've I've used I chose this sentiment from the same stamp set, in Star of Light, and it says the light of heaven. And I'm using the Lightful Dijon, which is the same color of our ribbon here, which is the closest color to gold. I didn't want to emboss this one, but if you prefer to emboss, you can just come and get um, Versa Mark with gold embossed powder and actually emboss this. So this is our sentiment. Just putting all away. And what we're gonna do, I'm just going to get this the snippet and just create two banner like on each side a banner pointies on our, on each side all we need to do here is just cut all the way to the middle and then come from the edge to, to the center and i hesitate i end up having to do it twice so here we are this is it and i will need just a dimension to go in there if I don't destroy everything around today and <laughs> here we are I will put two dimensions on in each side and here remember that pocket that I said that I was creating for this box that's exactly where this is gonna go when is when the box is ready okay I want this to be on the bottom not on the top quite it's slightly different because once it's here I wanted to be able just to pull this from inside so I know the sentiment is here okay we're gonna build this together so now we have all the bits that we needed together and I'm gonna just to glue this one let me just take this away I'm using this fine tip glue just to get come here it's just the easier way to get such a small area without too much of a fuzz or too much of a spill. I know I love fast fuse, but you end up with a little bit of glue extra around. So by using the same dye, it just becomes a perfect. Again, this, um, the one that I found a tiger, does not need a, uh, comes with a, a, a very clear and hard case some of these uh, music box that you find on amazon they can't come with a base but not with a cover so in this case i would uh, advise you to use a window sheet here so it would protect and wouldn't be directly touchable by um through through the aperture so here we are to get this in, we will need two openings on the side of our box. The first one is for the lever that will be moving. And the second one, let me get the one that I'm prepared earlier with the, the light. I just wrap uh, the same light that I used yesterday. Let me find, which is this one here. I will put the details on my blog on, on Amazon. You find these everywhere now. And this is how it looks. And because it's gonna be enclosed in the block, black box, it will show it through just the aperture that we've created. So for that, we're gonna need a space also for the, for the lever to be open. I've had a few tests around. And what I found out is that I need to put this like this with the lever higher up there is a slightly different it's not quite right in the middle where the lever is yeah so i need an aperture on this side of opposite side of the one that i'm creating for the for the lever so now we're gonna work on that part this is the side that we need to work so we're gonna work on the right side of this box for the apertures and there is no easy way to, to escape this. We're going to need just to mark. Let me just get a white marker. 
to mark on the sides where is the liver uh, showing on ours. So I'm going to just mark here. Not so sure if it's marking or not. Okay, I'm marking down now. Okay, here and here. And I'm going to show you what I did with this. And this is going to go on this side. So what I need is an aperture roughly on the top part. There's no secret on these ones. Uh, believe me, I would love to say, oh, this is the perfect way to do it. What I've done is I came all the way down here. Yes. What I wanted to do to show you is I cut on both of them from the top. You will see there is uh, is going to hide most of it anyway with what we have. Instead of cutting from this point, my suggestion is that you just fold in. Just gives the strength to, to this area. Yeah, uh, we're going to put a little bit of glue as well. But if you fold in, then you have just a little bit more strength inside of the box. Yeah, here. We're going to glue. And we're going to do exactly the same with the second lever. Here we are. And there we go. Same on this side. Okay. We're going to just, I'm just going to nip a little bit because it's just folding, getting to the bottom. We don't need it to go over. And I'm going to put just a dot of glue on both of them. And we're gonna just hold down for a couple of minutes, oh, not a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. Okay, this part nobody's gonna see and it still give the strength not to, to rip the box open. Because of this area here, you end up with a little bit of, uh, this will cover a little bit here. On the lever for the switch of the light is absolutely fine. But for the area that we needed to go with the lever, this is too much. So what we need to do is, the first of all, we're going to have to come here and mark this. Yeah, we have the same issue on the closing of the tab. So we're going to come here and actually mark. It's a bit more complex, I know, but it's so worth. It looks so good when it's ready. I want you guys to experience that. Okay. So let me cut the next one here. That's exactly why I didn't I decided not to go for a this one I'm gonna cut just because it's just becoming a bit difficult. Let me show you. See? But this one, the flap that will be closing down the top, is too long. We need more space than that. So my suggestion is that we're going to mark this with this and we're going to take a little bit of it. Not the whole thing, but a little bit of it. Okay, probably half of it could be enough. Okay. okay. I'm going to just pause a little second just to show you exactly how it looks now. It look a bit funny, isn't it? The side, that side there is going to be our controls inside. But so you have a small one for the lever, a large one, sorry, a small one for the light switch, a larger one for the switcher, for the lever. Oh, if I can remember. <laughs> and then we're going to come, this is the large one that will be gluing on this side to compose the bottom of the box. And this is what holds this area for the lever. So what we're going to glue now, we're going to put together the box, which is, we're going to put glue on those four tabs. In this area here, we're going to add um, tearing tape because it's a bit of a fiddly point and I will take as and when I need it. 
So let me just add the tear and tape first. And I'm gonna use fast fuse for this. I just I start getting stick sticky everywhere with this one, and then I was trying to avoid this. So let me get this ready to you. So just a little bit of fast fuse on these ones. Remember, you're gonna be handling this box more than it's not just a, a gift box. It's, it's you're gonna actually play with this box. So take the time and actually glue really well all the areas that you need gluing i have something stuck to my lamp and here we are okay let me get this area that we have all this cutting parts together first i'm just aligning the box as we would anyway and we're gonna come on this area and do the same. Funny enough, I forgot to, to cut where the electric lever will be. With the snippets, it's easy to fix this problem because it's just a small area and it's right at the edge of it. Okay. I'm going to use my scissors to actually cut that. Here we are. Has a bit of glue so be careful where you add it to now i have to close the other side which is much 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 easier than than it was the first one because there is no puzzle to fix with this one and here we are i didn't cut any excess because i'm taking the making the most of the strength of this box by gluing every single part really really well okay next part that we're gonna glue is putting glue on this little edge here and to be honest with you i wanted something very thin um thinner than it was this uh, with the, our tear and tape so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the edge of it and after i peel i will fold it back in so i'm not using the full length of this um tear and tape in here but I want something strong enough to hold us um, here. And let me do the same on the other side. So I'm not using the full width of the tear and tape. Okay. I'm going to put it away. Everything is sticking to me today. And let me get my piercing tool. Okay. As you see, there is a lot of excess here because I, I, I actually glue roughly half of it. And I'm going to fold it in on both sides. Okay. And now I'm going to close this area here. It's just the housing for the sentiment that we created. The last thing that we're going to do is just to put the whole uh, box together once this um the music box and the lights are in place okay so now we have this little pocket here where we're going to add our sentiments to it so that comes the part that we're going to actually put the whole thing together and just remember this is going to go on the side with where the screws go see you seeing the screws and the lever is a, is on the top part. Just fiddling with the wire, just bringing it down. I know it's gonna be a tight fit, but it will fit. Let's get here. Just wanna make sure that everything will fit inside. If there is too many, too much space in this, it will not work because it will get into the point of um, moving too much and then you can't have the lever out. Um, I moved the lever in the right, in the wrong direction. Okay, it's firmly inside now. 
And what we need is to get this area. That's why I use the the information, the um, double-sided tear and tape together here. Okay. And what we need to do is I did something that I, I completely, completely forgot to do. I'm sorry. What I meant was to put a magnet just inside of here. And I didn't want is one of these. I wanted to go one inside of here, which is all right because I have unglued, but and the other one was to go inside of this side. So now we're gonna have just to have outside and then have the sentiment to go here. Let me just grab a glue dot, a mini glue dot, and we're gonna go from there. These are so strong and it's, they are absolutely lovely to work with. I got from a guy, I think it's Spider Magnets on, on Amazon or eBay. One of the two. And I will put a, a link on that because those guys are extremely fast. If you're in the UK, you are in for a treat. They are really, really good. And I'm going to get this. So now we can go back. I can just about see my lever but i the the electric one sorry the the light one but it has moved so i think i'm gonna have to put a little bit of glue so it doesn't move from this space once i've closed the box again i'm gonna just use a couple of glue dots just to make sure that it's gonna, not gonna move from here from this area where it is at the moment because it's the right area just to get it together once the box is closed there's no movement which is what we want there we are it is working fine if I come here let me make sure that I can actually move yes so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take halfway the glue the um, tear and tape let me just show you how because i want to make sure that it's in the right position before i actually seal the box permanently because once this is glued together if you do because of the sides and all the work that we did cutting it could actually break it. So let's go and try to find the older actually to be in place. It will be sticky on the sides that you already uncovered. Let's just close our box now. All right, I'm gonna now commit it to the closing of this box. Oh, I still got something here. You can touch the inside with this just as lightly. I managed to get close here. Just to make sure that the glue will go. And the same on both sides. Again, I'm gonna just use my piercing tool. Don't push hard, it's just enough just to make sure that the glue is stuck here. All right, the last thing that I need to do is to actually get another magnet on this side. And for this, I'm gonna get a little bit of black paper. And this is too much, I just need this scrap. Okay, and I'm gonna grab my half an inch uh, circle punch to fix this if I had remember to do this to begin with we wouldn't need this so you have a way to avoid this part but I want to show you that what happened if you actually wanted to do this way anyway it's very well secured 
if you do the other way around, even if kids want to play with, because they ain't gonna touch it. I'm just got this one here. So I know it's in the right place. Get this one. Attach it. Okay, now I'm going to just press this box in place. So now I know that it's exactly in the other the same place that is the other one. And I'm gonna use another glue dot with the half an inch circle that we just punched. And I'm gonna cover, cover this. So the one that to see the magnet. Okay, there we are. Our box closes and our box plays. Let's just get everything away and I'm gonna get the sentiment together. Okay, this is our box. Our switcher is on here on the side. I'm just get on and it plays music. I absolutely love this idea of just playing with this. You can actually have the sentiment here inside. It will fit in and then a person just need to pull it out and they have the sentiment to go. If you prefer to have it on the top, you could have, but the whole point of, for me was to have the sentiment inside and use this extra space, maybe for another gift or for another note. Just use it as best as you want it to. And I hope you enjoy all the details in the blog, all the measurements. There's quite a lot of fiddly bits to go on on this one. But I'm telling you, it's well worth what is how it comes out to. And there is still time for you to enjoy the competition that, not the competition, the promotion that is going on, which is we are having a special treat and extra gifts, extra products that are coming if you shop with us up until the 10th of December. So enjoy it. Happy crafting. Bye.